while we're in the sports arena, though, uh, let's talk about, or the NBA arena specifically, let's talk about John Rondo, Rondo number nine. Um, so he, <laughs> apparently, in the right now, apparently, allegedly, he pulled out a weapon, a gun on his, uh, not on his family, but his family was present and he pulled it out on his wife. Um, there hasn't really been a reason. I'm pretty sure it was just some sort of domestic argument that escalated, um, you know, probably something that happens often. I don't know. But um, what do y'all think? Do y'all think this is like a bad look for him? Do y'all think it doesn't really matter at this point in his career? I, I, I think it's a bad look, man. I mean, he already has a rep of being like, you know, kind of somewhat arrogant, like standoffish attitude, like, you know. Yeah. So, like, it doesn't look good on his resume as it is for him to do something like this. And then I think I mentioned it on the show before that somebody that I know, like, claims that they know somebody that was working, you know, at the uh, working for the Boston Celtics that was, a, uh, you know, around Rajon Rondo enough where they say that they believe Rajon Rondo might even be gay. And, like, to see – I'm not going to go that far, but to see something like this, like him going to the – to the extent of pulling a gun on a female, it's like you doing some bitch shit. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if he had <laughs> some flamboyant tendencies. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, yeah. it's not a good look for him, though. It's not. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you think, Don? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not a good look. Like, like you said, I mean, I mean, yeah, he, he comes off as arrogant in the NBA, and just people seeing that off rip, the mass of like the media and people are gonna believe this this headline no matter what you know what i mean because it's rajon rondo so right. if it's true man that's that's definitely a bad look probably could probably could mess up his his the rest of his nba career for right now man, how much of that do you think he got left uh whew, not much i mean he's one of them point guards that i don't even know how old he is to be real with you but he's he, up there yeah, yeah he got to be like <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if if he really wanted to, he could be in the NBA a couple more years because he's just like you know what I'm saying one of the IQ point guards that's gonna yeah. pass the ball and and put people in or even a veteran that yeah you, a vet so yeah or even like a veteran that you sign like on a minimum contract and he's like an extra coach for real even though he's a player technically he exactly, would do both right. exactly you know? but if if this situation is real deal and and everything comes out true and all that and maybe he goes to jail or I don't know if he got arrested in this situation. If it's all comes true, then yeah, his his career is his career is done. Yeah, man, but he definitely got a I mean domestic stuff is usually something we see more with uh, NFL players. But that's uh, facts. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, yeah, you usually I, see this stuff from NFL players. Like yeah, I don't know what's shit, up with like this. An NFL headline. I mean, you know, usually NBA players are more like good at keeping it cool. So um like you said, he does have a history of being, you know, a little bit difficult, a little bit um, arrogant, a little bit kind of, you know, kind of a, I guess, like a hard head or whatever. So, um, I don't know. I don't think the NBA has officially said anything about it, nor I think his coaches or anything like that or him. So, um, definitely something we're going to have to keep uh, keep our eye on. But Word. more than likely, I, personally, I don't think it's really going to affect anything for him because I don't think he's a player right now that's like too – he don't got too much riding, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You, you if, know. if he if he is found guilty though, the Cavs will waive him. I'm pretty sure of that. Like, yeah, if there's like, yeah, like, I don't know if she like pressed charges and all that or if whatever. I don't know. I, I didn't read. Oh, that. okay. Well, then there's that. I forgot. Yeah. Well, these but teams yeah, be sure trying to pro- these to these teams be trying to protect their image. So, like, you got a vet on your team causing up drama towards yeah. the team. They gonna be like, hey, we don't need you, and now you got to go trial for other teams. As a vet, that somebody that's a vet, but like not really gonna contribute that that much. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's over with. Yeah, it's definitely a interesting situation. Um, or, like I guess we're gonna keep up with it. Uh, we're gonna move real quick out of the sports realm. We're gonna move into the entertainment stuff.